update everyone from CashMoto.com Because that makes me more excited. On today's video, we'll be going over the new games coming to Xbox Game Pass in April of 2019 and how to get three months for one dollar. Thank you for joining me. Happy Hump Day. If you like what you're seeing, please make sure you give a little visit to the like and subscribe button down below. If you have any questions, tips, comments, post them in the comment section now. Earlier today, Xbox Game Pass posted an image showing what is coming to Xbox Game Pass in April of 2019 and boy is the lineup a doozy might be one of the better months since we got Forza Horizon 4 last year so just like every other month at least this year not everything is being released at the same time we're getting them out in a staggered fashion so here we go on April 11th we'll be able to play Prey from Bethesda which is, uh, from what I've read, a very underrated game, very similar to uh, the old System Shock or uh, Bioshock games. Running around first person, puzzles, leveling up powers. Uh, it was also on my, <laughs> like Vampire, was also on my list of games I wanted to play, so <laughs> there it is. And also joining it on April 11th, the Golf Club 2. Uh, yeah, I don't know that much about this, but uh, it's a golf game, but club. And the second one on April 18th, arguably the biggest one on the lineup, Monster Hunter World will be released on the Xbox Game Pass on that date. Monster Hunter World is a critically acclaimed, very, very well selling game released by Capcom. Uh, again, another game that I've been, I've had my eye on. I played the beta and I've it has been busy. And I never really figured I should pull the trigger because I wouldn't have time to play it when it was released. And I still have a huge backlog, which isn't getting better, thanks to Game Pass. But maybe I'll give this one a shot this time, because it is included in Game Pass, and I already have a membership valid until April of next year. So that's very, very exciting co-op online multiplayer action. I miss Fancy Star Online. The next one, The Walking Dead, A New Frontier. So it looks like we'll eventually have all The Walking Dead games on Xbox Game Pass, which is good because I personally only finished the first season. I might just start the first season again, just go through the entire thing in quick succession, plus also easy gamer score. Next up on April 24th, we'll have Life is Strange 2, Episode 2. So, Life is Strange 2 will be releasing on Xbox Game Pass, and by that I mean all the episodes, but they will not be releasing day and date on the service. So, if you want to play the games and you don't mind waiting, you'll be able to get them all on Xbox Game Pass. You just have to wait a little bit to play them all. And last but not least, on April 25th, Boulder Punching Resident Evil 5 will be releasing onto the service. So, unfortunately, Resident Evil 6 is no longer in the service, but Resident Evil 5 is being added on there. Of course, being headed by homie Chris Redfield. Game is, eh, it's pretty well regarded. Not, not too bad, I never played it myself, but uh, again, <laughs> there, there you go. Good old action, action survival horror. This is around the time when they were trying to get away from survival horror a bit and more into the action. But still a, a pretty highly rated game, so there you go. That is it for April. Now, what else? Well, ah, the whiteness. Starting April 11th at 9 p.m., you'll be able to get three months of Xbox Game Pass for $1.00. And that is, of course, unfortunately, only for new members. And that will be available until May 12th at 11.59 p.m. These, this, these times are all Pacific Standard Time. So starting tomorrow at 9 p.m., you'll be able to get Xbox Game Pass for three months. And, as you know, this is only for new members. But by getting the service for three months for a dollar, that will give you enough time. To go through Microsoft Rewards and make sure you can get your Xbox Game Pass for free. Like a lot of my subscribers and myself do. So please make sure you watch my video on the subject. Again, I personally have my Xbox Game Pass subscription valid until April of 2020. So this is all done through Microsoft Rewards. So make sure you take advantage of that so you can keep getting an amazing service like Xbox Game Pass for free in perpetuity as long as Microsoft Rewards is available. So thank you everybody for everything. It's a very exciting month. Again, it's probably the best month since we got Forza Horizon 4. Uh, I'm very, very excited. Hopefully I get some more chance to play. 
and and I hope you do too. And remember, if you are doing your Xbox Game Pass Quest, that usually they add on the games for the previous month as part of it. So I will bet dollars to donuts that at least one, if not more, of these games will be in the quest list for next month. So don't get all them achievements if you plan on doing them later on. Thank you, everybody, for all the support. Go out there, play some games, make some money, spend some money, save some money. Don't get boned. Get boning.